this application's visualization for uh, mathematical functions. So here's one. We can rotate around, we can turn off the grids, see what it looks like uh, from top to bottom, inside out, underneath, and spin it around, see what's going on here. There's, uh, there's a text in front as part of the uh, uh, 3D scene as well. Here's a, uh, another uh, surface. It's uh, kind of a saddle-like thing. Here is a uh, something that's um, uh, equal on all uh, in all four quadrants here. How does this work? Well, I um, wrote a couple of articles here on EDN, uh, visualizing mathematical functions by generating custom meshes using FireMonkey. So the goal, of course, is to generate um, this uh, mesh. So we start out by generating the wireframe. And um, we, uh, in this case, we're traversing uh, X and Y. Um, and for each uh, little piece, we imagine that we have a square. We cut the square in half, and we get two, uh, two triangles. And of course, a mesh is generated by triangles. You've heard of uh, the GPU using triangles and all that kind of stuff. Um, so uh, we get uh, four corners um, of our uh, square, and the triangles become P1, P2, P3, as well as P3, P0, and P1. Those are the two triangles. Uh, we compute the uh, function value, whatever it is. In this case, it's... Uh, um, x both sine x plus uh, cos, uh, cosine of z. So uh, we generate uh, values for each of these points and we set up the triangles, uh, tell it which points belong to which triangle, uh, and finally we uh, assign the uh, colors to it uh, or the point in the bitmap, this uh, uh, HSL uh, bitmap, if you will. So that uh, uh, texture assignment is done here. And the generation uh, of the mesh, mesh itself, uh, essentially uh, we're at a particular um, XY location and we compute the, uh, or actually in this case, uh, XZ uh, position. And we compute the uh, Y value like I said, we assign the points uh, to the internal uh, vertices, buffer, um, vertex buffer, vertices. Uh, we assign the uh, texture, and we tell it which points belong to which triangle, and loop over uh, all x's and all z's. And that generates a mesh. So it's, it's fairly simple code to do that.